Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Honey. So today we're gonna to be talking about psoriasis and inverse psoriasis. If you don't know what psoriasis is, it is an autoimmune disease that affects your skin. If you don't know what an autoimmune disease is, well, it is a condition in which the immune system attacks the body. So keep those two in mind. So um, with inverse psoriasis, well, it's like a form of psoriasis, but it happens in the folds of your skin. In these areas, your skin rubs together. So these areas are very sensitive and they become very irritated. So for example, um, with me, my issues, I have inverse psoriasis under my arm, well, my armpit, and I'm gonna insert a photo, yeah and in my groin area and sometimes in my butt crack. I mean, hey, we're gonna get real here, so be prepared. And sometimes I have it behind my ear and right here where my nostrils are and the creases of my mouth. Um, I think because I do have secondary Sjogren's as well and lupus, I think that my skin gets very irritated. My skin is very sensitive and it becomes very dry because of Sjogren's. And Sjogren's is an autoimmune disease where like it affects the glands in your body that produce moisture like your mouth, your your eyes, it makes your eyes dry, your mouth dry, your skin dry, and sometimes a cookie, your cookie gets dry, but I mean, I don't really have that problem. Not that you needed to know that. But anyways, how I treat these areas um, usually I go to the doctor and they give me a topical ointment or cream. Um, over the years, because I had this for four years and um, I didn't really think about it, but um, if you keep using the topical ointments and creams, they're going to eventually thin your skin out and I think that's what happened to me. So I only use that like if it's really, really inflamed and irritated and uh, I've been using oils for my skin instead for you know inverse psoriasis in those uh, effective affected areas i've been using um, natural oils like olive oil another thing that also could help psoriasis is vitamin d3 this is a vitamin d3 spray i don't know if you can see it or not my nails look like crap, but we're gonna fix that later because today I'm pampering myself. But anyways, today, um, today. But uh, anyways, this is a vitamin D spray. And um, I looked it up and it says that vitamin D is uh, supposed to help psoriasis, maybe even cure it. So I was like, dang, you know, I'm gonna try this out because it's really irritating to have splits in your skin and your skin ripping and tearing constantly every time you get stressed out like I try my best not to get stressed out but we're going to talk about that later in the video so yeah you guys I recommend vitamin d3 this is a spray I don't like taking pills oh crap I'm being light but yeah I take the spray because I cannot swallow pills I mean I can swallow them but I choose not to swallow a pill because one time I was in the hospital for lupus and they gave me a pill. I think it was like the potassium pill. If anybody know what I'm talking about, those potassium pills are like horse pills, okay? They're like horse pills and I swallowed it and like it got stuck in my throat for like 30 minutes and it took like 30 minutes for it to actually go down. And you can just imagine how I was, I was freaking out. Like I thought I was gonna die, but I didn't die. So another way to treat inverse psoriasis is by, well, when I'm in a flare anyway, I'm not like a medical professional or anything, but it's just something that I experience and that I do when I'm in a flare of inverse psoriasis. I like to wear breathable clothing or clothing that is loose. Um, and the reason why is because oftentimes if you wear like really tight clothes and you're in a flare up, it can irritate the skin and cause even more friction. And by that, your skin will end up ripping and tearing more often. 
and um, sometimes that can also cause like a lot of heat heat building up and then sweat and then moisture and then sometimes you'll end up having a yeast infection a yeast infection on the skin you know so we have to protect ourselves from heat and uh, moisture so that's what I like to do and another thing is this might sound a little embarrassing to some people well I like to use paper towels I usually put paper towels under my arms because um, it prevents like moisture from getting up there I mean I know you can use powders and stuff and I try a lot of powders before and none of that usually works so before I go to sleep at night I usually lay down and then I put like a paper towel in between my armpit or in the growing area just to keep it from getting all like moist I hate that word moist or um you know heat just building up in there and getting very moist and possibly getting infected and stuff so that's what I like to do but if it does get infected make sure you go to a doctor and they can prescribe you certain kind of medicine they'll usually take a swab and um, test it to see if it's like a fungal or bacteria infection and um, then they'll give you antibiotics or either anti-fungal medicine also oftentimes having a chronic illness can take a toll on your mental health it can take a toll on your mind so sometimes you know when my inverse psoriasis flares up really badly I do get depressed because you know I can't really do the things that you you know usually do and so it's really stressful even just getting up getting out of bed and taking a shower it can be really painful because you have open wounds and like the water is hitting on your open wounds and it hurts it's it's like a really terrible feeling you know because it's it can just can last for like weeks you know so what I like to do to try and control, I guess, my emotions is um, I journal. Um, see, I'm trying to find it. Why? Wow. I got this journal from Barnes & Noble. I do use it, by the way. The dust is not up there from not using it. I got this journal from... Barnes and Noble and it was kind of expensive it was like $34 and yeah that kind of is expensive but I wanted to get something that would make me write in it and so I usually just write all my feelings in here and I also do I am affirmations daily because doing that it really helps me to take my mind off of my illness and focus on something else like about me I'm literally getting sick all the time so that's what I like to do I like to journal and just write in here I really like to show them because it's got this like bookmark and the tree of life and tulips in the background tulips are my favorite flower so yeah I like that it looks really vintage -y too I like vintage things and so yeah get something that you would definitely write in but it doesn't again it doesn't have to be an expensive journal it can be any kind it can be a two dollar one i started off with a two dollar journal okay you know i don't have no money at time but so um that's what i like to do i like to journal and write i am affirmations daily i also like to look up on youtube motivational speeches that also helps me to get going and help me to get up and just stop moping around all day another thing I like to do is to pray I just pour out all my feelings to God and I just pray to him because oftentimes I feel like he has got me through a lot of the situations I've been in because I have been really 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 sick not just from my psoriasis but you know from lupus and children so I like to pray to God and I like to tell him what's going on with me and that really helps me as well another another helpful tip <laughs> is uh, 
This is the face you make when you have extreme brain fog. It happens, guys, it happens. This is another symptom that I have. Not from psoriasis, obviously, but from lupus and secondary Sjogren's. I, have, I get a lot of brain fog. Like, I can be in the middle of a conversation and just blank out of nowhere. And I'm just thinking like, oh my gosh, like, this is why, this is another reason why that I'm, I'm really quiet and I don't really say much, but that, I shouldn't let that hold me back, but it can be embarrassing, but um, I'm not going to cut this, I'm not going to cut this part out, but um, oh yeah, another thing is that we should give our bodies rest. Just have a conversation with yourself in the mirror, okay? You're not gonna look crazy. I mean, there's nobody gonna be watching anyway. Just have a conversation with yourself in the mirror. Say, hey, you, you, you need to sit down, lay down, take a nap and rest. Even if you can't sleep, just lay down and rest. And that could be extremely hard though when you have kids. I mean, I have one, so I can't imagine having another one. It's just too much but I love him to death he is my world but um you do have to give yourself time you have to give everybody rest not just rest but treat yourself you know take yourself out to eat well I wouldn't really suggest that now with the whole COVID thing going on but order some DoorDash to your house I don't know get you some ice cream make yourself feel better you know so that's something that I would definitely should suggest doing, especially, you know, having a chronic illness. It can be really, really, really tough and draining on the body, not just the body, but on the mind, too. So I would definitely suggest that. I hope you all enjoy the, this video. Please give it a like, comment and subscribe. I'll be posting more videos soon well i'm gonna try to do it every monday this past two weeks i had to really just focus on my body and take time off and take care of myself and my needs because i was really suffering and i was really having a really bad flare with inverse psoriasis so i had to just take the time off and to myself and just not make any videos at the moment but I am going to be making some very soon. Also, I'm going to be doing a haul soon because, yeah, I love clothes. I mean, who doesn't? But anyways, see ya. Bye.